Hi there, Virgo. So I'm going to be doing your reading right now, and I'd like to make a note that I also offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present, and future. It's still going to be a love reading. Okay, Virgo? I'm also going to be pulling out angel cards at the end for added advice. Can I get the past energy for Virgo, please? Past energy for Vir Virgo. Virgo, the Knight of Cups in Reverse, wow, the Five of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups in Reverse, okay, and now for the present energy, present energy between Virgo and Virgo's person, the Magician, Okay, Virgo, present energy for Virgo. Wow, the lovers. Virgo. The four of swords in reverse. Wow, the hair fawn in reverse. Okay, and now for the future energy. The six of wands in reverse, temperance in reverse. Wow. And this card as well. And the Six of Cups in reverse. And the overall. The Ten of Swords. Wow, there's this is talking about someone having a lot of pain here with the Ten of Swords. Um, it's pretty heavy energy. So I don't know if this is you or the person that you're dealing with. It could be even the both of you since it's the overall. That's just in a lot of pain, but it's nearing completion. So hopefully... Someone won't be in the state for longer, but again, when I clarify, I'll get a better understanding of what's going on here. But for the past energy, I see the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Five of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups in reverse. So this is telling me that there is a disconnect here, okay, um, with the Two of Cups showing up in reverse, but I feel like someone's trying to get over their fears in regards to expressing how they genuinely feel for you, okay? Uh, this could even be a situation where you felt like you were being left out in the cold, as well but when i look at the present energy i see the magician the lovers the four of swords in reverse and the hair font in reverse so i feel like someone's feeling restless they're trying to manifest this connection here um this could even be you manifesting love as well but when i look at the future energy i see the six of wands in reverse temperance in reverse and the six of cups in reverse this is really talking about a soul connection and someone feeling quite like, they're not feeling balanced, impatient. There could be restlessness here. But I feel like they do want a reconciliation, even though the Six of Wands is showing up in reverse. So I really need to clarify, like, what's going on here? Let's clarify this Ten of Swords energy for the overall. Someone could be feeling hurt. See, I do see the Five of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. So let's clarify the Ten of Swords. The Lovers in Reverse. Clearly talking about a disconnect between two people. Five of Wands in Reverse. But I feel like... One second, let me get another card. And there you go, the Queen of Pentacles. So that's your energy right there. You're showing up as a Queen of Pentacles. Um, you are... Showing up as being very loving and nurturing. This could be even you taking great care of yourself. Um, this is my self-care card, okay? The Queen of Pentacles. So I really like your energy. So either this could be you or your person. But it's like, regardless of the pain that you may be feeling, you're still focused on your independence. You're still focused on taking care of yourself. And this could be even the person that you're dealing with that is viewing you as the Queen of Pentacles. Someone that's very loving and very nurturing. But it seems like there's clearly a disconnect here. Uh, with the lover's card showing up in reverse but it could be a connection that you deem to be very special i feel like it's mutual look at that the two of wands so someone is stuck at a crossroads here really thinking about you heavily with the seven of pentacles they could be even reflecting on the past as well but that's talking about contemplation 
but I do see things taking a turn for the positive with the wheel of fortune. Okay. So maybe this person's waiting for the right time, but it seems like they wanted to express how they felt towards you, but they could have been stuck, okay, at a crossroads with a two of wands, indecisive or confused. So let's clarify the five of pentacles here. Yep, eight of cups in reverse. Someone's not detaching. Wow, someone is trying to overcome their fears here with the five of pentacles in reverse. Someone's not walking away. They're not detaching. But it's like uh, there are insecurities, okay, with the Empress card showing up in reverse here. This could even be you kind of feeling kind of uncertain about this connection or feeling insecure, especially if you were left out in the cold as well. But um, let's clarify the Two of Cups in reverse. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Wow, the Seven of Swords. Someone could have walked away. So this could have been someone that was being deceptive in regards to their genuine feelings here. Um, this could even be talking about games. And there we go. Someone, I, I feel like you were listening to your intuition though uh, with the High Priestess. Like you were aware of what was going on. Um, so this could even be someone that was self-deceptive, meaning... Um, when in fact, uh, their intuition was telling them something about this connection here, okay? But there could have been games. Someone wasn't telling the truth here. But let's clarify the Magician card for the present energy. Death. The Nine of Swords. Someone's really worried about this ending here. Like they don't want things to be over between the two of you. A lot of overthinking, possible regrets. So I don't feel like there's a reconciliation with the Six of Wands showing up in reverse twice, okay? I feel like someone's trying to manifest this connection into the 3D, but it's like they're worried, okay? There's a lot of overthinking with the Nine of Swords. Possible even regrets here, okay? But let's clarify the Lovers. The Emperor in reverse. Oh boy, this is really talking about a disconnect between two people. With the Empress card showing up in reverse and the Emperor in reverse. So I do see a match because the both of you are showing up in reverse. So this connection could have thrown both of you off. The Hangman in reverse. So someone does not want to be stagnant. They do want a reconciliation here with the Three of Cups, okay? Um, they're feeling restless with the Four of Swords in reverse and Temperance in reverse. So let's clarify the hair font in reverse with this Four of Swords in reverse. Look at that, the Four of Swords. This person's really um, feeling restless in their thoughts. Okay, so it's up in the headspace. Contemplation, and it could be making them exhausted, like tired, drained, especially if they're overthinking here. So, yeah, so I really don't feel like, even though they want a reconciliation, they're not really rushing in. Because if you look at the future energy, it's the Six of Wands in reverse and Temperance in reverse. But they do want this Ten of Pentacles with you. Okay? Um, this could even be someone thinking about their finances as well. But I feel like this is them wanting this Ten of Pentacles with you, wish fulfillment, abundance. But there se seems like there is a disconnect. And someone's feeling kind of... Um, tired because they're really stuck in their headspace here so let's clarify the six of wands in reverse look at that the three of wands so there's this is really talking about someone waiting um two of swords eight of swords lots of thinking here and the two of pentacles in reverse I feel like this waiting is causing the, the, the delay here in this connection, okay? Someone really being stuck in their headspace. Eight of Swords, Two of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. It's really hard for them to achieve balance because they're overthinking here, okay? Um, they could be guarded. It's protecting their heart space, and that's why they're overthinking. But let's clarify Temperance in reverse. The Knight of Cups in reverse again. The Tower... Wow, someone's been hit with a tower moment of realization here in regards to their feelings. 
Um, they do have love for you. They do want to come in, but they have to get out of their headspace first. But I feel like they have been with, triggered, okay? Or hit with a tower moment of realization. And this could be even talking about possible messaging, okay? With the Page of Wands. It's like, um, definitely sparked their interest. But uh, they are feeling kind of off balance here for some reason. It could be their feelings are making them feel unbalanced. But let's clarify the Six of Cups in reverse. Look at that, the Nine of Cups in reverse. Someone's clearly unhappy about this disconnect. So I feel like they... Yeah, the Page of Swords in reverse. So there may not be any sort of communication. There could be spying. But it seems like someone does want to get out of um, <coughs> this stagnant situation, okay, with the Hermit card in reverse. So this person could have gone within, done some deep contemplation here, because I do see the Four of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, but this is your card as well, so they could be spying on you. This could even be you wanting to heal as well from this disconnect. Interesting. I feel like this person has to get out of their headspace in order for to for, in order for there to be forward momentum. Okay, but I do feel like someone has gone through some sort of tower moment of realization in regards to their feelings here. Okay, like there is love. They do want to work things out, um, but there's a lot of heavy overthinking. So let me um, like they do want a reconciliation here, but let's get angel cards for further advice. This was a short. To the point reading, it seems like it was a very clear message here. <laughs> Added advice for Virgo. Oh boy, that many cards, but I'm going to take the cards that flipped over. So it's the Ten of Water, which is equivalent to the Ten of Cups, and the Nine of Fire here. Okay. So the Ten of Water, a contented and rewarding family life, your emotional and material needs are met, trustworthy relationships. So this is really great. This is talking about that there's happiness in store for you. Um, and I do see the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, which is, uh, you know, th this seems like it's talking about wish fulfillment, not to worry. Things will take a turn for the positive with the Wheel of Fortune card. So if this is you being worried... I feel like things are going to work out, but here it is. The Nine of Fire as well. Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Well, I like this card. Um, it's talking about, like, not to worry. Things will work out. I do see the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here. That's awesome. Um, and uh, to believe that things will work out. All right, so those are your cards. And I'll see you next time. Take care now.